the second question is fill in the blanks in humans sperm production occurs in the organ testes t e s t e s b in humans dash chromosome is responsible for maleness y chromosome third one in male and female reproductive system of human dash gland is same sex gland s e x d implantation of embryo occurs in the uterus u t e r e s the next one asexual type of reproduction occurs without the fusion of gametes the next one body breaks up into several fragments and each fragment starts to live as a new individual this is called fragmentation g pollen grains are formed by meiotic division in locules of anthers meiotic spelling m e i o t i c the third sub question complete the paragraph with the help of words given in the bracket in this kind of question children you not only have to write the answers you have to copy the whole paragraph it's not only answers the whole paragraph has to be copied in the answer book growth of follicle present in the ovary occurs under the effect of follicle stimulating hormone this follicle secretes estrogen endometrium of uterus grows regenerates under the effect of estrogen the second blank is endometrium of uterus the third blank under the effect of dash that is luteinizing hormone fully grown up follicle burst ovulation occurs and dash corpus luteum the fourth blank is corpus luteum is formed from remaining part of the follicle it secretes estrogen and progesterone under the effect of these hormones glands of dash are activated the last blank is again endometrium are activated and it becomes ready for implantation question number 4 answer the following questions in short i will be giving you the page number to the answers the first question is explain with example types of asexual reproduction in unicellular organism this answer is given in page number 23 and 24 you have to write about binary fission all the three types of binary fission and multiple fission and budding in yeast if this answer comes for 3 marks you also have to draw the diagram explain the next one b1 explain the concept of ivf this is given in page number 32 the whole paragraph of ivf along with the diagram c1 which precaution will you follow to maintain the reproductive health now this is a open ended question or self interpretation in 10 standard question paper you will be getting a lot of application or open ended question where you are supposed to write the answer on your own so this is also one such type of answer part of it is given on page number 33 the first last paragraph where you are learning about reproductive health and you can write about that how will you maintain cleanliness how will you create awareness about it if there is any problem that you face you can uh, confide or discuss with your teacher or your parents or any elder in the family then go and see a doctor then maintain uh, personal hygiene take care of your reproductive organs etc the d question what is menstrual cycle describe it in brief this is a big answer and uh, though mostly you are not asked to draw the diagram but you have to learn it this answer is given on page number 31 and 32 in case of sexual reproduction newborn shows similarities about characters explain this statement with suitable example this is again a open ended question but part of this answer is given in page number 30 and 31 where you are discussing about the formation 
of the child or formation of gamete how the chromosomes divide how x and y chromosome gets divided and how you get a boy child boy child or a girl child and you have to write that as the children gets half of the chromosome from each parent certain characteristics are seen in them diagrams human male reproductive system page number 28 human female reproductive system page number 29 flower with its sexual reproductive organs page 26 menstrual cycle page number 31 give the names hormones related with male reproductive system there are three hormones fsh lh and testosterone hormones secreted by ovary of female reproductive system progesterone and estrogen types of twins monozygotic or dizygotic any two sexual disease you can write about aids gonorrhea syphilis hepatitis b any two method of family planning contraceptive pills use of condom gender of the child is determined by the male partner of the couple explain the reason whether this statement is true or false so you have to write this statement is absolutely true and then the answer is given on page number 30 and page number 31 page number 30 do you know paragraph and page number 31 the yellow paragraph always remember explain asexual reproduction in plants this is given on page number 25 you have to explain about vegetative propagation or vegetative reproduction in plants along with the diagram modern techniques like surrogate mother sperm bank ivf technique will help the human being justify this statement this answer is given on page number 32 the third paragraph from top reproduction and modern technique where it starting from many couples cannot have children till the end of the paragraph childless couples can have a child explain sexual reproduction in plants this is given on page number 26 and 27 along with the diagram children you will have to write all these answers in a 200 pages notebook and we will you will be submitting it when school reopens thank you next week we will be starting with the next chapter